Hi guys, good day. This is Angela Reagan. Okay, what we have here actually is a problem in trigonometry. I'm involving triangles, okay, specifically the right triangle, the special right triangle. So let's try to solve it. We have a balloon. Um, we are actually being asked of its height, okay? So let's try. So first is this. This one is 60, then if this angle is 60, this angle is supplementary of that angle, meaning these two angles create 180 angles. So if this is 60, then definitely this angle would be 120. Would you agree? Okay. Now, okay. So if this is 120 degrees, 30, then definitely I can already get the measure of this angle. Why? Because according to the definition of a triangle, the sum of all its interior angles should always be equals to 180. So if, it's, if this is 120 and this is 30, then definitely this angle should be what? That's another 30. So that when you add 30 plus 30, 130 plus 30, 60 plus 120, you get 180. Okay. What I'm left with is I need to solve for this hypotenuse line, this one. And I can solve for this line by using the, I mean, this triangle at the right. And I will be using the sine law formula. So I'll just call this side um, x. Okay. So by sine law formula, I'll get x over sine of the opposite angle. You have sine 30 is equals to. Okay, I'll use this one. I'll get what? 100 over sine of 30, the sine of the opposite angle. But since both are equal, I can just cancel them out. So I will have x equals to 100. Okay, so now that I already have x as 100, I can now solve for h using the trigonometric function sine. So sine of 60 is equals to opposite, which means opposite side, okay, h over the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is the x, in which we have already solved for the x, right? Sine 60 h, x is just equals to 100, okay? All you need to do, all I need to do is just transpose or multiply both sides by 100. So I'll get rid of the 100 at the bottom. I'll cancel this one out. I will now have 100 times sine of 60 is equals to h. Okay, now you can use the, your calculator or you may choose to use the special angle chart, right? In which sine of 60 is just equivalent to square root of three over two h, okay? That's the equivalent of sine of 60 because sine, sine 60, that 60 is a, a, a special angle. So 100 times square root of 3 over 2, you can simplify this. So this becomes now 50. And this becomes 1. So 50 times square root of 3, your final answer now here is 50 square root of 3 meters. Okay. That would be the height of your balloon. All right. Okay. I guess that's all. Now, if there's um, somehow along the process, there's something that you want to learn or something that um, that you missed, just let me know. Please, which part of the process that you're having trouble with, so I could discuss it again and I'll make another video for you. Okay. So that's all, guys. This is Engineer Reagan. Bye.